dun, dun, dun. The hype is real right now. Making a bridge across the canal. <laughs> there we go. We got there together. We rhymed it out in the end. What is going on again, Nerd Paraders? Thank you guys so much for coming back to hang out with me. We're playing some more Ark Survival Evolved. We're over here on the Aberration server once again, and we're going to be doing a little bit more buildy buildy times today. I know there's been a lot of buildy buildy times coming at you in these episodes lately, but the fire has been lit underneath my butt, and all the buildy buildy times must be had. This is what we're looking at. We finished off the fortress uh, exterior. This is what we're looking at. We've transitioned the heavy turrets from the smaller to the now bigger. This base is three times bigger than this one because this base was a base for ants. And we are all set and ready to go with this guy. Let's check out the interior. Looking sharp, looking so nice. All the floors are opaque because that, that was actually a comment. Make sure you opaque your floors so people can't came out find your generator. Don't worry, we've done that. And uh, we're gonna be feng shuiing the base a little bit. However, speaking of comments, there has been something that has been pointed out to me it kind of blew my mind. I'm going to show you guys today, but it was it's in regards to building bridges utilizing the S Plus mod. I've more or less got it started here. And as you can see, well, I'll just build it for you. As you can see, we built out pretty far. I'm going to start, I'm going to continue with the build. We're going to go all the way over to the other side. Okay, we ran out of foundation support. What we're going to do is we're going to drop a S Plus fence foundation right here, right where it goes green. I'm sure we could pretty that up a little bit, but we don't necessarily need to for the sake of speedy building. We could build bridges. The way that bridges... I had always hoped for them to be an arc. The dynamicest of bridges. Dynamic length bridges. Which has been something on the docket for... I don't know. A hundred years. And has never been implemented. S Plus kind of figured out a way to do it. With these fence foundations. If... Uh, if vanilla arc could just add something that functions the same way. Not necessarily like this. But say like... Bridge stuts or something. I, I don't know if that's actually a word, but Nerd Parade Decree, we're making it a word. Bridge bridge st struts. It's struts. It is a thing. I think. Maybe. I don't know. But we're building a bridge and we're getting over it. LOL together. So here we go. I'm going to go. Well, I, I hope I have enough. Quite literally going to go all the way to the other side over this pool of element. Thank God that there's no, still no radiation in this zone. In before I build all the way to some radiation and I die horribly. Oh, it's looking nice. Almost there. S suspense is building. Will I be able to maintain the current course? I hope I don't run out of fence foundations. This is this is kind of bonkers. I'm super excited for this. I forgot to introduce myself, guys. Welcome to the channel. I am Nick. This is Nerd Parade. Thank you so much for stopping to hang out with me today. And I hope you're enjoying what you're seeing. If you are, please hit that thumbs up button for me. Let me know that you like the stuff that way. If you haven't done so yet, and this is your very first Nerd Parade video ever, welcome to the shenanigans that is Nerd Parade. Please be sure to smash that subscribe button before you move on to the next cool video in YouTube land. The Tubes of Ubery. Or the, or the Ubes of Tubery. Whatever you want. I don't know. Um, I am not going to have enough. This is what I feared. I'm going to need to make some more. We're close. We're soup. There's a Drake over there. We're super close. Oh. I got to make so many more. I got to make so many more ceilings. But we're building ourselves this nice little bridge. I'm going to add another foundation here. We're going to give it a little bit more foundation support. If we could build a three wide... It's just easy. It's it's very PV, PVE. You know, we're, we're building a bridge over here for dino transitions. Rex, I know, always manages to walk into this water uh, with liquefied element and get himself horribly murder face. So maybe when he sees this, he'll be super excited. Like, w w what is this? I won't die so much. Thank you so much, Nicholas. You're the greatest. If, ver just like that verbatim. That's how he's going to say it. Or at least I can dream. Let's do... I'm just going to pull 100 if I can. Uh, 60 something is what I got and let's pull oh it's already got all of it it needs it's all, got all its needs to got we'll take we'll take and let it finish its thing and we'll continue now this is what I'm curious about ah that's nice 
That's really nice. Oh, this is great. And the fact that this is like the glass metal stuff that you can see through it looks so good. I almost walked into it. Ignore that. I almost walked right into it. Oh, this is looking so sharp. I might have to build a ramp down here. Because I think the terrain is slightly uneven. Here, er, eat, er. This is changing my world. S plus is day on a daily change of my world. And I would have never known about this before for the comments. So thank you guys so much for hitting me up in the comments uh, with, with stuff that I may... I mean, I never have claimed to know everything there is to know. But thank you so much for hitting me up in the comments for new stuff like this that I am more or less ignorant to. Oh yeah, that needs a ramp. That needs a ramp for sure. We'll see if we can get one. Ooh, look at so nice. We're building bridges and getting over them. And I, I, I keep seeing feather lights around here. I got the best comment ever on what to name these dudes. So the first guy that I get... And I'm actually just going to tame one so I can utilize the name. I think we've got Z-Seeds floating around in there somewhere. We're going to get one of those and tame one of those guys up just so I can name it. The, the, the winning comment of what to name your feather light has been Glowcrow. I, I like that. I like that so much. So we've got Glow Lizard, we've got uh, Glow Puppy, we've got the Glow Goat, and we've got the Glow Crow. <laughs> glow Crow. I had to hold down my finger. Anyway, where, where was I going with this? More fence foundations we need. Got 27 ceilings. Yes, take that. Fence foundations. What can we pull? Let's try, let's just try 100. Whatever. No big deal. I don't need all 100. Oh, yeah, I definitely don't need all 100. We'll make, like, that's good. And then the rest can be ceilings, because we'll do the other side if I could only find it. There it is. Pull it all. Not enough resources. What am I out of? Crystal. Got to go back up to blue base and get some. Okay. Uh, seed, seed, seed. Do I rob that man Stefan? No, that man Stefan has nothing. Check the grinder. It's usually where we store stuff. Seeds. Aha! Ten seeds. I don't need all ten. Now if we interact with a glow crow. Oh, ramps. I needed ramps. Check the grinder, usually where we store stuff. Aha! Ramps. Ooh. Dun, 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 dun. The hype is real right now. Making a bridge. Across the canal. <laughs> there we go. We got there together. We rhymed it out in the end. Ooh. Okay. Oh, nope. Needs nearby foundation support. So, in that case, can I snap these together? No. But I can do this, I bet. And we have... Oh, no, no, no. Needs nearby foundation support. Uh, well, that's a feels bet. A feels butt. Pick up. No, that would be dumb. That would look dumb. How we, how we gonna... How we gonna hammer... Oh! Oh! <laughs> S plus. You, you don't let me down. You don't let me down at all, do you? That was... That was pretty nice. It worked out in the end. We, we got there accidentally. Let's blow through the rest of these ceilings. Sp speed build it. Oh, that's already three wide. Huh. Or, yeah, you get where I'm going with that. Not necessarily three wide, but I need to get more crystal. This is an awesome, awesome, awesome thing. Thank you so much for the comment. Let me know about this so I can build something so cool. We're almost out. And now the quest is stick a Z seed in a feather light butt. Let's see if I can find one. We gotta name one Glow Crow. Level doesn't matter at this point. Oh, I almost jumped to my doom. Get the grandpa voice. Level doesn't... Arthur Paterta. Level doesn't matter right now, as I was saying. Oh, by the way, in case you didn't know this, I thought this was common knowledge, but just in case you didn't know that, those plants are organic polymer. Uh, I mentioned this in an, earlier in a video, and they're like, somebody actually commented, oh, wh where do I find that? You know, what plants have organic polymer? So just in case you, uh, your fault, you're catching up with me, I'm trying to answer the comments. Let's get them. Scorpion. Feather light. Bro. And, and it doesn't matter. It do I, dude, I saw one around here. I'm thirsty. All the bad things are happening. Polymer is just not a problem on this map whatsoever. It is so easy to get. 
the thing that's a, a little more difficult to get is cementing paste. Although the frogs can get cementing paste from the uh, the glow bugs, a decent amount from them, we've been doing most of our stuff from uh, chitin. Chitin and stone, it, turning it into the cementing paste from the Kimbage because most of that stuff is very, very simple to get. Uh, cool story, bro. Needs more nerd parade. I agree. We should be we should be doing more nerd parade related things. I don't know what I was looking for in here. I don't. I I, th I think I was looking for a feather light, and I don't know why I thought to check that inventory because a feather light might be in the Spinos inventory. But I guess we're not gonna not gonna get one. I have a bit of another mission. Let's just do this. Put you in here. Just tee all this stuff in. We'll get more crystal. Get a drink really quick, but I'm probably going to end up suicide potioning to go to the other side. We're going to take a trip back to the blue. Now, I talked about this a little bit in the previous episodes. Uh, previous episode, singular. That we're not going to be abandoning the blue base. I don't want to abandon that place. I don't want to completely move down here. Uh, I want to have the multiple bases. Now, what I'm thinking is that... We'll continue to carry on with the blue base and make this purple base a, a tribe base. We have a relatively large tribe on this server. So we're going to carry on over here. And I've already started something that I haven't shown you guys yet. It's just it, it it's just been like a, a, a thinking thing. Just getting my mind around something. And I'm going to plop down here and do it. Zzz, sploot, sploot. This is what it is. This is just kind of like a thinking thing. This is what I was building here to replace the the blue base now i really like the cliff platforms i really really like them but we run into the problem of the cliff platforms not being upgradable so they you eventually will outgrow them you can't uh, you can't replace like say for example if we advance to tech if and when we advance to tech we can replace this foundation with uh, a, t a tech foundation if we need to However, if we needed to replace that stone platform with a metal one, we, we can't. We can't do that. It's, it's kind of stuck the way it is. So that leaves us at a structural weakness for PvP-related purposes. So I started to tinker around with this one, and then we got, like, more focused on the purple, and we just went crazy ham town on that one. I think I'm going to do more or less the same thing with the, uh, the ramp that we did in the last episode and the way the current purple fortress is built with the ramp, the, the pillar... And the walls. I'm going to do the same thing here. It's going to reduce our surface area ever so slightly. However, I do like the foundation uh, walls that S Plus provides. That's pretty. It's pretty, pretty, pretty. Uh, but we've done this. We've built in side the base, the gas vein, and I I want to maximize this as as much as possible. I want to maximize this because gas is a very vital resource for a lot of what we're going to be needing on aberration. So anyway, this is my little pet project here. We're going to have some fun with it, uh, figure out what to do, and then we're going to leave... I need to... I'm going to hop on you. I got plans for you. And then we're going to leave these platforms like so to more or less act as some kind of protection ceiling-wise type thing. Now, this guy, who I've left alone because out of fear of just taking him out of the base, one, needs to be appropriately renamed... And two, needs to have levels applied. So he's got two levels. I've just been mostly dumping melee. Let's do a little bit into health here. I think I want to get to 35, 35k. And the rest will go into melee on him. But we need to rename you. I uh, gotta do my circles. Figure out, where, blah, 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 figure out where the thing is. Change name. And he's blue. So I've got to do something blue related. And the first thing that kind of popped into my mind, now that I've had a little bit of time to think, coming up with it on the spot, names on the spot, I'm a little bad with, but having some time to think about it. So I'm going to call you Sonic uh, the Repog. Just because I think it's amusing. I don't know how I feel about Reap Dash Hog, though. Repog? Sonic the Repog? That, that looks a little bit better. No dash. Sonic the Repog. Just because he's blue. Bzz. And we're going to blast out of here. What time is it? Do I have time to go for some drops? Oh, no, I don't. I would get my toasties roasted. I, we've tinkered around with some of the drop stuff on the surface. I'm going to talk a little bit about that because this is just some stuff we've more or less been doing off cam. Because it's kind of like still figuring out the map. I really am doing bad about knowing where places are on the map. And I don't want to spend a lot of the video or episode... Uh, wandering around being like, oh, what is this? I might actually do like a, a discovery 
thing later when we start looking for caves for the artifacts, which is another thing. It's on the arc to-do list, on the aberration to-do list. It's something that I very want, very much want to do. But uh, without further rambles, oh, I can't zoom in because I'm writing. Let's pop off. Zoom in. Right above us here, the little me pen to our uh, northeast. I did. I had to check. Never eat soggy waffles. I had to do my my circle. Uh, right to our northeast is an entrance to the surface. This is a very large surface area and it gives a, a decent amount of drops mostly blue we went up there for a little while but we were mostly underwhelmed by the drops there's another one to the uh northwest never eat soggy waffles again had to do my thing uh to the northwest of the same like right above all the way up at the top the light brown stuff these are like surface sketches on the map in case you don't know there's another one down here to sort of to the south, the west southwest where it look the part that I haven't discovered like let's say uh, fifty five twenty five around in that area I don't know where the entrance is to that but I've been told that that is the absolute best spot for for drops so let's get Sonic the Repog back in uh, I've been told that's a the best spot for drops red drops pop down there quite frequently it's just a, it's just a very good one so I want to try to go there. And at least discover it, maybe lay down a bed, something. So that we know, A, how to get there. And uh, so that when it night falls, B, we can farm the crap out of it. Because I want to get some tiered hazmat and uh, and things of that nature. Just some tiered durability-wise armor. Because durability is going to be kind of king on Aberration. Especially with the... Durability is usually king in PvP. But durability is going to be super king with the, the wings, the wingsuit, because that degrades durability. And if it's something like Gilly, forget about it. If you put a wingsuit on Gilly, you can easily get polymer, hide, and uh, fiber to repair. Here, here's one, for example. This, was a, this one was pulled out of a drop. I was actually using this for a while. I'm going to put it back on. So we have 186 Gilly with 285 durability. Nice, pretty good. But it's a wingsuit, and it's a wingsuit that you can repair with hide fiber and organic polymer. Things that you could super easily get and repair it in your inventory. Cool sword, bro. Needs more nerd parade. I just, I, I, I'm passing along anything that might be nerd po wisdom like for you. Hoping that it may help. But yeah, we, we need some tiered BPs. That's what we desperately, desperately need. So, I'm going to grab some meats out of here. Bzz, that ought to do it. Uh, get on my rock, Drake. Do I really need anything else? Uh, let's get a bed. Crafting. Do I have the stuff? Do I have the stuff? We have the stuff! Awesome. Okay, and let's get one foundation. Should have the stuff for one foundation. We'll make it glass metal just because I've been digging the glass metal stuff lately. And we are off. We're off. I'm gonna leave the door open. I was born in a barn. Azazel, take me to the surface, my creature, my mighty dragon of drakeage. I'm slowly learning. My, I'm still on my learner's permit with the rock drake, but the comments have helped. They're like, hey, when you see that crosshair, click the button. And I was like, that does something, question mark? And then uh, the comments were like, yes, it does do something. I'm having a conversation with the comments, by the way, in case you weren't sure what was happening. Like, yes, it does do something. It makes you go super dash. And I was like, oh, mind is blown, and I'm learning how to fly. As an end result, I'm learning how to fly a rock drake. Yay! Cool story, Nick. Needs more nerd parade again. We're getting really good at that. Please don't have turrets and shooting me in the face. Okay. We're good. Although I still just decide to crawl over everything after I was telling you how good I've been doing with my rock drake. One step forward, two steps backwards. Typical nerd parade video. Check the map. Moving in. Uh, are we going in the right direction? Southish. Excuse me, stones. I'm trying to map and map and walk. It's not doing well. This is giving me. Oh, this is making me dizzy. Okay, we're kind of headed in the right direction. I was saying I didn't want to do too terribly much of this, like map. Dis oh god! Oh god! Oh god! I got turned around. Uh, like map discovery stuff, but I feel like this is a crucial one. Rumors say. Best drop location, best place to get drops, and frequent red drops on the surface there. I want to check it out. I am interested. Myths must be busted. Oh, that base is looking pretty hefty right now. 
Give me a crosshair. Boom! Let's check it, make sure we're going right. Oh, no, I took a wrong turn at Albuquerque. I'm going north now, it looks. Turn it. Excuse me. Give me something here, buddy. I need a compass. Everybody always scoffs at the compass BPs and drops, but... I, uh... When I need one, I don't have one. Okay. I, I almost cannot function with that, without the me tag in, uh, in the map. <laughs> Take that, coal. I need, like, a little, uh... Thing up at the top, like the like seven days that I has, like the the compass that would help me out so much. I could place markers on the map and go to it. That would be awesome. You hear you hear me, Ark? That would be awesome. Wink, wink, wink. I don't <laughs> I don't know if that's working, but my subliminal message is uh, has been sent. Very subtle, very subtle indeed. All right, let's make sure I'm still going the right way on our adventure sewed. Kind of. Okay, yes, we are. Oh, we're headed in the right direction. As I zoom out and mess up. Come along, Drakey. Oh, we're going to the the blue here. Is this right? Is the entrance in the blue? About to find out. Oh, hey, I landed on that tree. That was cool. I didn't, I didn't know that was a thing. All right, double check it again. Oh, we're close. We're really close, and we're still going in the right direction, but it makes me think that we might need to go into the blue. Or maybe right around here. Don't have turrets. Okay, good. <laughs> Please, God, no! Uh! Alright, time for another check. We're right, we're right here. It's gotta be around here somewhere. It's gotta be, like, up here. I'm close. I feel it. My Nick senses are tingling. Letting me know that it's nearby. Excuse me, Ravager. That There's no way that little hole is it. Oh, we, I see a zip line here. Somebody surely has discovered this already. Surface hunting. Check. I'm here, like I'm right here. I was gonna say, if it was right around the corner, I was gonna lose my crap, like, oh, yay! No, I feel like it must be around here somewhere. I know it is. I feel it in my bones. And before somebody makes a joke about feeling it on my bone. <laughs> oh, this might be it. This might be it. Is this it? Did I discover it? I think I did. I think I got it. This has to be it. This definitely has to be it. Where's my... Oh, it's on my how to be. Marking. Uh, for science, this has been tested, but you cannot build on top and the surface. I, you, I mean, you can. You physically can. But it's get, whenever the, the heat rose, rolls in, the structures get destroyed. It's been tested, as far as I know, up to metal. I have not tested tech, but I would assume it would be the same thing. Once we get some tech structures, it, that is going to be something that I test out to see if the tech structures can survive the heat. Ooh. Let's see how far we can go before we get our asses lit. Oh, that was... That, 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 that was dumb. I meant to crawl up, and then I got scared, and I spaced it. Right click. There we go. Right click again. Okay. You are much more important than me, so you stay there. How far can we go before we get roasted? Can we... Oh, hey, somebody's got a foundation here. Oh, apparently it's us! We have a foundation here, too. Just to let us know that it's safe. We're gonna just take a quick gander. Oh, butts. I'm dead. I'm dead. I fell off. Wait, I'm okay? No freaking way. I mean, I'm gonna have to die. Yeah, there it goes. <laughs> what? Is it? To it's toying with me right now. It's legit toying with me. I don't have anything to get back up with. <laughs> I'm gonna have to die and try to corpse finder my body because I slipped off, not paying attention. 
I was gonna look, try to look for some. I know you're probably. Like, what are you doing, dude? You just come on, man. I was trying to look for some drops out there, but I'm just not, uh, not noticing. All right, do it. Do your thing. Light me on fire. We'll get a corpse finder, and uh, I'll pick up my fancy wingsuit and my meat. That's all I got. S plus bunk bed. Respawn. Yay. Okay. Rename you. Do my circles. And we'll do surface. Surfasi. Now, my kingdom for a stone. Nope, nope, nope. Dragon face, do you have a stone on you? That'd be really great if you did. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. Whistle game. I'm gonna need you to be on point. Oh, is that a stone? Really? Ground clutter's messing with me right now. Whistle game, I'm gonna need you to be on point here. Got him. Got him. Have a stone. I've got elemental ore from when we went to the surface before, but uh, no stone, unfortunately. So we're going to get one. Because I want to get that wingsuit back. Oh, do I have a pick in here? I might have a pick in here. Am I just blind and don't see it? No, no pick. Okay. We're doing bad, but I'm going to run out and grab a stone somewhere. Uh, we went, we've went. we gone out to the surface. You're probably wondering... <laughs> How, why is that so high? We're, we went out to the surface, uh, messed around on the other side, like I was saying. Let me get, get on my map. On the two top ones. And we were complaining about, well, complaining, talking about, discussing uh, the status of drops. Now, when we la- ooh, Is that the right way, or that got really hot looking for a second? Okay. We were talking about the status of drops and how we were more or less underwhelmed with them. Uh, we have boosted it on the server side. So we boosted it from one quality to three quality. And three quality seems to give a fair amount of ascendant stuff. So that's why that <laughs> assault rifle is so beefy. But since we've already put it out with three quality and many people have been collecting drops, there's no sense in lowering it now. We're just going to have some really crazy PvP with some uh, high tier, like 300% fabby snipe snipe. If we can get some blueprints, crafting skill, it's going to be bonkers. Chitin? Like, this chitin stuff is OP. Crazy. Never have I seen chitin so strong. But I gotta get a stone, and I'm gonna corpse finder my body. Uh, but this has been more of a... This has kind of been a little... A little bit of an adventure so today. I don't really know what to classify this as. This has been a uh, Nick and Nerd Parader's adventure so We built our bridge. We got over it. A little bit of buildy buildy times. Discovering the surface, which actually got really lucky, because usually my sense of direction is pretty poor. So I got really lucky there. Laid it down. What time is it? It is still 1 p.m. We got plenty of time before a surface run is possible to collect some drops, and we'll see if that place is just as OP as the rumors have been telling me. Tiered, uh, tiered hazmat blueprints, perhaps? Fingers are crossed. Gotta find me either a pick or a stone, and then we'll come back there and get my body, collect my wingsuit and ghillie. And we'll catch you guys in the next episode. I hope you had fun today. If you did, remember to smash the thumbs up button for me. Let me know that you like the stuff. If you like going on adventure sodes with me, please tell me in the comments below. Like I said earlier, if you haven't done so yet, I'm tripping balls. Okay, that seems like an appropriate thing. I'm drowning. Awesome. If you haven't done so yet, nerd paraders, please subscribe to the page for some more cool videos just like this one, like I said earlier. But most importantly of all, remember to take care of yourselves, guys. Stay awesome, and we'll catch you in the next tripping balls episode. Why am I still tripping balls? Okay, there we go. I guess I was standing in the mush. I'm gonna die again. It's an official Lord Prey video. Later.